did a good enough job of just saying how much legislator Betty Jean Grant is a person for the people. So that I hardly believe that if we had more legislators like you, well, we wouldn't have some of the laws being passed that are being passed now. So thank you. Would you would you donate money to Carl Palladino? Personally? Yeah, your, your personal, you personal money. money to Carl Palladino. I don't have enough money to give him. <laughs> 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 None of us do. Doesn't answer the question. <laughs> no, I think you got a lot of answers. Second, be on the record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that being said, uh, um, no other comments. This is public hearing. Oh, no. oh, sorry. Okay. My name is Josephine Brown, and uh, the root of all evil is money. We all know this. And it's wanting it more than having it that's the actual evil. And I'm not going to get religious, don't worry. I'm not mean like that. What I am going to do is remind you a little bit about where this money is going if he gets it. Look at Silver Springs, New Mexico, June Soto, Arizona, Bisbee, Arizona. Their housing has gone down because there's too much. It's no longer bringing in income. They're dying town. Because there's no businesses, they're all losing the people that are there that could work. I have watched towns that I've lived in become ghost towns because the money that they had went to build new apartments or a hotel for the tourists that never showed up. If we actually do what we're supposed to with the ECIDA, which is bring development, industry, that will, work, that will fill up the jobs. And those jobs will fill out the already empty properties we have, the ones that have already been developed by anybody, not just Carl Palladino. He's threatened you. He's threatened that if he doesn't get this money, that he's not going to do anything. So why give in to a blackmailer? Show him that if he wants our money, he better work for it and make sure that people actually have jobs, not working at a Red Apple or a gas station in the bottom of a building that's not even finished. Thank you. Now I officially close the uh, <laughs> public hearing. Anything to say about this, Sergio? Okay. Any comments? <laughs> I mean, I, if, I, if I may speak very briefly. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs>